In today's video, we're going to be looking at 5 scratch projects that attempted to replicate YouTube. Which one will be the most realistic? Let's find out. Alright, so the first one we have, uh, YouTube Simulator. Um, judging on how long it's taking to load, I'm going to assume it's a pretty big project. Uh, looks like there's a lot of credits as well, so let's uh, full screen and let's see what it's got. That is such a clean animation. <clears throat> oh, my throat. Okay, so, it's got scrolling, uh, it's a little slow, but it's got scrolling, there's a bunch of untitled projects, can't look at them, um, let's click a random video, just, just to see how it goes, uh, okay, that, that's wild, it's like a half a second of video, um, so you can change the volume, you can full screen it, and, wait, what? What just happened? I, I don't know what I just did, but <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so it's kind of notifications. There's subscribe it description. It go boom. <laughs> nah. Okay, then we go back here. Um, I'm gonna assume this is. I don't know what that banner is. I don't think that's really on YouTube, but um, <clears throat> that's nice. So it looks like the only mode that they have is cinematic mode, which is basically like it's like a rectangle instead of like a feed. So that's cool. Um, obviously, you can subscribe and you can like like and dislike stuff. <clears throat> but all in all, I think it did a pretty good job of kind of capturing the way YouTube feels. For the search bar, it pops up the answer box here. You can kind of type this stuff, but I don't really think yeah, it doesn't do anything. Um, and then, oh, dark mode. That is really nice. Oh, uh, I I really do like that they put like a text generator to put your username so it looks like your channel. Um, speaking of your channel, okay, so you can open in your profile profile link. Uh, YouTube.com. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Let's actually try this link. It's not gonna work. I know it won't, but it's close. Okay, that is not what I- okay, yeah, no. Um, one subscriber? Yo, who subscribed? Who subscribed? Anyway, uh, customized channel. Oh, you can, like, select what banner you want. That's pretty cool. Um, the answer box is still here, though. And let's go back to- let's try uploading something. Let's upload an access project at the video. Let's add- Oh, so that's- that's kind of a cool system, I guess, but then it's kind of, like, selective, so that's nice. So unlike the last project, this one has a lot less videos, this one only has 9, I believe. Um, it has the same thing, uh, you, there's no dark mode, unfortunately. Um, let's go profile, customize, I just changed the banner. I don't really know what this is. This doesn't really look like YouTube at all, it kind of looks like a sidebar or something. I don't really know. Um, and it also looks a little glitchy too, but yeah. But let's try clicking upload. What is this? So, this upload, what it actually does is you could upload your projects to the studio right here. And then, um, well, back when it was active, you'd be allowed to put your projects here and then, or like videos here. And then they would upload it onto the project, which is, I'm assuming, what some of these are. Um, but the creator stopped it. And then there's ads here, which I don't think that's what YouTube ads look like, but okay. Um, let's try one of the videos. Day. Hey, I just got the best idea. What if we play tag? Yeah. Okay, that was one of the best animations I have ever seen. Um, we're gonna need to give that one an Oscar if you're asking me. Whoa, okay, uh... 
Uh, the volume, it's... I don't really know how this whole bar thing works, so it seems very glitchy, but all in all, pretty good. Um, uh, let's keep scrolling. Obviously, there should be a lot more videos, but it's okay. Um, I feel like the last project... Okay, enough on that. On to the next project. This one by far is one of the most popular versions of YouTube for Scratch, quote unquote. Um, it was made by Mick Vincent. He's also on YouTube. Um, shout out to him for making this project and a bunch of other really cool games and stuff like that. But uh, I think he's most known for this one just because of like how good everything is in general. Like for example, that intro. It was beautiful. Um, obviously, there's. Uh, Content. What the? Oh, that's an actual YouTube ad. Wow. That's wild. Is that cloud like? Pretty good animation, but I don't know what I just watched. Is that a cloud like? Let me see. It is a cloud. It is a cloud like. Interesting. So this one. It uses the cloud to like monitor the likes between like all the views and stuff, which is actually really cool. Um, okay, but still, that intro is so smooth. <clears throat> and the interface in general, it feels like a little finicky, but still, it, it's like very smooth in general. Um, so unlike the other ones, there's not like a way that you can view your own profile or uh, upload things, but it does allow for community posts. Or not, maybe, uh, whatever. Um, but it does allow for most liked and most disliked, which is interesting, I guess. The search bar, uh, it's this thing, again, it's totally random. I guess it, oh, wait, the search bar actually works. Okay, so, obviously there was nothing, um, that showed up when I typed that random phrase, but, um, but still, that's, that's pretty cool. Quite reality. And now. I am slowly fading. Goodbye. Abyssal darkness. Oh, another thing, this thing doesn't really have a volume or like a like a bar at the bottom or like a full screen mode, none of that, but um, in general, I do think the cloud like and dislike is pretty cool. It's pretty sad that once you dislike something, you can't like it back, so. Uh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> okay, Scratch Tube Ultimate. Um, good intro. Ooh, I really like the, the curved edges on the videos. It, it makes it feel very unique. Are these shorts? Oh, oh wait! <clears throat> this was like the scrolling system. Although it doesn't go back up, just up and down. And it appears there's only two shorts. <laughs> okay, um, that's cool though. I really like that they integrated YouTube Shorts into all of this. Um, and that description bar is also really cool as well. Um, additionally, I believe that is also a cloud vote. So that's cool. Out of the door. Goodbye. Your parents suck. All right. Oh, yo, recommending videos. Uh, intro. I do like it. There's a timestamp too. It does make it feel like a lot more realistic as well. Lastly, for the final project, we have YouTube Paper by Atomic Magic Number, which is actually a really popular um, scratcher. Almost, he's about fifty-seven thousand uh, followers. So, uh, so that being said, I'm pretty excited to see what he made. Paper YouTube. Uh, oh, okay. I like that you put a view count. View count is really nice. Um, it easily tells you, and I think this is all cloud as well, so. And I like this total view count right up here that tells you the amount of views combined. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, this version seems kind of limited. I don't see a lot of things too special about that. It looks like just, just regular videos. Um,.
Oh, when the video ends, it just it, then you can exit out. Okay, interesting. Uh, let me see what else there is. I think that's the same one we saw earlier. But yeah, it's uh, I don't really see anything too special with it. It's just the only thing really was just the view count. That's literally it. If I'm being honest, the YouTube Simulator was probably my favorite in terms of like realism. Um, mainly just because of like, all the features it has that's actually really similar to YouTube. For example, the notifications, um, the, the text thing right here, the ability to go light and dark. Um, there's a channel, the ability that, um, it actually kind of looks like a channel even though, um, the videos and like the tabs aren't really here. But the ability to change the banner is also really cool as well. Um, and also this one does have, even though it doesn't have a ton of projects, it has a decent amount considering some the amount some of the other ones had. Oh, and before I end the video, I just wanted to say, um, if we get this video to 1,000 likes, I will donate $2 to Penguin Mod. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.